Aries, welcome. It's your heart spread read. First half of December 2021. Uh, it's an eight card read. Read the one that's on your mind and what's in your heart. Picks that up pretty truly. You don't necessarily have to be with them. They don't necessarily even have to be still um, in the 3D. But whoever's on your mind, whoever's in your heart, that's who this will pick up on. And we ask in name of light and love, so it serves the greatest good spirit. And we get some direction, depth, and insight. It's truly helpful to you, Aries, in whatever way you need in this reading. And I put pre-shuffled as usual. So you're coming in with the Three of Wands energy. Um, looking, could I call the dating site card? <clears throat> Let me know. That's probably, are you out of your mind? I wouldn't go on a dating site. Mm. Not for the faint of heart. But wands are action. Um, so you'd be someone who's looking, someone who's taking action, someone who's active. Uh, I kind of see that. I want to see this as your energy, kind of separate from your person here. And then their energy we'll look at right now, kind of separate from you. It's kind of get a beat on where they are. It's kind of not bad energy to share or to come in. Now, they're, they're coming in just, uh, I won't say they necessarily are playboy or playgirl. Um, but they're coming in really fired up. Um, uh, it's kind of, um, I'd say it kind of works, you know. Um, you're both ones, and um, you're both having a passionate looking energy. Um, really, it could indicate a, re a relationship that was very fast and possibly an affair, or just very fast and very sexual. No judgment. But really, Ace of Wands to the Three of Wands, yeah, you, they might be a fire sign. Yeah, I'm thinking on that. Um, you know, it's Wands. Um, um, but this is like the, you know, you saw each, you met each other somewhere, and, um, you know, you were making love, let's say, uh, within um, minutes or hours. I mean, really. It looks, and it looks like crazy hot. Um... I get the feeling here, of course you would know, Aries, that your person is a little more on fire for you than you are for them. But you're feeling it, you know. Uh, it's like you you, uh, you got a live one here. <laughs> live one here. Let's take a look now. This is your energy towards your person. Where you're, how you're, just how you're feeling about them. What's going on with you towards them. Now, the Three of Swords, but you're moving towards them in this reading. Um, so, it kind of indicates that your Three of Wands here, Aries, was like you were kind of looking uh, to move. Um, I got to just say it like this, like it sounds ridiculous, but you, you kind of want to move to another heart, Aries. And this is, as to this person here, that's who you feel like you're moving to. Now let's see how they're feeling with you. Wow, Aries, they feel burdened by this. There's no way not to look at it that way. So this is a, a relationship that starts off very good, and I mean very fast, like within moments, or, and, um, but almost immediately. But the thing is, you know, you have to reverse these, so they, they're doing what, um, you're both moving towards each other, you know, but it's taken them a tremendous effort, it feels like to them, but they're drawn to do it. And with the Six of Swords, this could be you, um, Aries, making some kind of a risky um, flight, um, and they're kind of meeting you halfway here, and it's taken them a lot to do it. I do see that they're receiving you, though, Aries. You're moving to them, and they're receiving you. That's the energy of it. Seven of Swords coming under the Six of Swords. Um, he's looking back at you here. The Three of 
three of swords. Now this is advice from spirit and how to interact with this person here. Aries, I gotta wonder, being that it's advice from spirit, um, you know, this is strategic thinking and you do, you have strategic thinking because you've been lied, lied and cheated and uh, on, you know, uh, that kind of energy from the seven of swords. So it's this, uh, then you're kind of on guard for your discernment and, you know, watching for things. It's kind of like what's being advised. It's, it, with that and the advice, Aries, I'm kind of thinking it's trying to tell you this person, you got to watch this person. So again, with this Ace of Wands coming in, that's just kind of, they're just fired up. Like they just want uh, anyone. So now this actually makes sense. So for your person, this is advice from spirit and how to react and interact with you in the best way. And it's to get, be a drop down into your feelings if you're cross watching or areas you want to pass this on. Drop down into your feelings and um, you know give, consider giving your cup, you know, giving yourself emotionally to this person and not just physically. It's for the cross watcher. And this Seven of Swords now is a cross from the Two of Cups. So your advice is to watch and see if they do this. And their advice is to do this. Their advice for you is to watch them and see if they drop down into their emotions and offer you a cup of love. What is that? You know what? I'm really getting feelings for you. You know what? I think I'm in love with you. I mean, that's nothing else. It's that. Um, whether you're being asked to keep an eye on it. You know, there's uh, overall energy to Five of Cups. I do count that in the heart spread now. Um, I think it could be on both of your parts. You know, there's something in the not too recent past that was emotional. And your person here with the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Wands, and then their advice is the Two of Cups, you know, they could be running away from dealing with some emotional baggage. Okay. Um, and also, uh, Ten of Wands could then bring, with you, they see a place to bring their emotional baggage. There's another way to look at this Ten of Wands, which make it more sense to me now. Um, and um, because they're not dealing with it, see? And that's where you're going. You're heading right there, but you're getting advice. Hey, you know, think about this. Watch what's going on. Uh, be uh, kind of extra on guard, you know? Okay? Get, you know, bring out your inner Scorpio, Aries. Take a look at this. Now, this is the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. It's hard not to see the uh, Ten of Cups here um, as a very positive sign. It's kind of the most important card in this read, I think. It's the crux of the heart spread. It's taking shape. It's uh, the core. And, you know, that's the happy family card. I told you emotionally, you, know, you don't have any cups here either, Aries. So... I think you could see, really, you, you brought in uh, kind of what you're expressing here, right? You're looking, you're wanting some passion, some fire in your life. Um, you're willing to move towards this person uh, when you find it. And um, well, this outcome is going to be very important because you have this Ten of Cups between the Two of Cups and the Seven of Swords. This is a, you know, we all have free will, right? So maybe your person drops down into their feelings and maybe expresses to you feelings for you. I really have feelings for you. I think I'm falling in love with you. I love you. Something like that. Or maybe they don't. And that's what you're watching for. Um, because I think with the Seven of Swords being your advice here, Aries, if they don't do this, not going to have this ten of cups here because it means their uh, emotions are elsewhere however you want to look at it however you want to look at it, their emotions are not with you uh, they're maybe they're not at all maybe they just squashed them but they're somewhere you know we got they're back there somewhere deep deep right deep deep down let's see that devil right that's the outcome Obsessions, this is sexual, you know, obsessions, controlling behavior, toxic behavior, um, also extraordinary passion. I mean, look at this devil card, right? And 
Now, I'm a little disturbed by this Aries, frankly, because this looks like the outcome. Um, clarify. Judgment. Wow. I don't know how to say this. You guys come together. I'm facing the right way. Here you are coming together. Here's the outcome. That's you coming together. And it's a little bit like a train wreck, too. Just really getting it right now. It's a passionate train wreck. You got air and fire and wands and, and swords. And then what happens when you uh, put air to fire? It really uh, takes off. And you see how fiery this devil card is, but now judgment comes in. So you guys are being, you're throwing yourselves at each other. It's very physical, but I have no doubts that this is a karmic connection here. Um, and this is going to uh, result, I don't want to say forced, your relationship here, your interaction is going to uh, result in both of you having to deal with your the darkest shadow stuff. It's, you're bringing out the darkest shadow stuff in each other. And it's a lot of it is around this kind of uh, sexual Pluto, uh, uh, you know, energy of uh, jealousy and control, and you know, all that kind of toxic stuff, um, obsessional feelings and behaviors. Um, and this is kind of the time it makes sense with, you know, the new moon eclipse coming in just a few days, coming at the end of the week here. Uh, Aries, you're starting this first of December's reads um, that this is kind of where, where you would be at you know so it's sort of like uh, are you gonna for both of you then are you gonna because judgments involved here um, <clears throat> are you gonna drop down into your feelings and because you have the potential for a ten of cups relationship uh, really needed that <laughs> um, so I've never seen such a clearer uh, reading that emphasizes free will. Everybody says, what about free will? Where are you? There's free will. So especially if you want to get through this reading all the way, God bless you. Uh, you know, now you know, right? If you resonate with it, so you do, it is free will. Once we know uh, what we're getting into. Uh, but I say, like, the only way out is through. So we do a, uh, this a lot through relationships. And this is a promise that there's a Ten of Cups there somewhere, you know. It's just up to you, both you guys to make the right decisions. Karma's bringing you together. That's judgment right in the middle of your train wreck. Bam. It's you guys. <laughs> Love you, though, if you like it. Uh, do, uh, if you could think of anywhere to share this, please do. Any platform. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you, guys.